Hello, it's Markham Torch here from Markham 3D, and today I'm going to show you how to use the scatter add-on, which is actually available in Blender, but you just got to turn it on. So what we're going to be creating is this rock area where we've scattered all the rocks very quickly, very simply. Please make sure you hit the like button to help me get up into those YouTube algorithms and consider subscribing if you haven't, as I'm really trying to get to that 10,000 mark. Now let's start off with this landscape. If you want to know how I've done the landscape, check the link in the description on the free landscape add-on. If you want to know how I did the material for the landscape, check out the PBR landscape material video in the description as well. So from here, let's enable the add-on. Let's go edit preferences up the type in. Let's just type in scatter and enable that puppy. Let's close it. From here, let's shift right click on our three objects and then right click on our land last. From here, I'm gonna press spacebar to search or F3, whatever you've got set and type in scatter. And here we've got scatter objects. And now what we get to do is we can zoom in and I'm just gonna put it on this ridge line and you can see that it's really big but we can see that they're cubes at the moment. That's just reference. Now, obviously that's a bit too big at the moment. So we can click on the spanner and the screwdriver and we've got object scatter here. From here, we can turn down the scale, which obviously turned down the scale, the radius on how far away it is from the actual line that we've put down. Density is density. So if I want more rocks, let's bump it up. Randomness in scale. So I've got varying degrees of size. How far off the normal of the mesh it's going to be up or down. And the seed will just change the randomness of the object spawning. So once we're done, we can press enter and there we go. Now we've got our rocks in place along our cliff line. We've got rocks hanging out. So obviously when you're choosing your rocks and your materials, make sure they match. Now, what will actually happen is it'll move these three objects into the world origin and then that's how it spawns from there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna quickly put in some more just to really break up the scene a bit. So let's say I actually wanna just edit all these rocks. I really don't like the placement of it, but I just wanna change one or two. We can select our instance, object, apply, make instance real. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. They're each individual origins. And so now we can rotate and put it how we want. Ooh, so that's out of there. So let's go apply, make real instance. And there we have it. So once again, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, hit, leave a comment for me and consider subscribing. If there's another add-on you want me to review, please let me know in the comments below. And until next time, thank you very much.